Hey guys, it's Michelle Marie with Young Hollywood and Vitamin Water. I am here with Mr. Josh Hansen, most anticipated writer coming out this X Games. So what are the essentials that you have to have as a writer before you actually go out there and compete? My head in the right place. Yeah. Uh, I need to have all my gear, every, you know, everything everything in order to uh, go out there and make it happen. I don't, I don't really know. I guess uh, have my vitamins, have my family here, and I think that's enough done. I know that you said you have to stay hydrated, so what do you do as an athlete to stay hydrated before your game? It's so hot, so it's definitely just keeping up on the water or whatever. There's times where I don't, I don't know, it's crazy how much you just gotta keep going, keep going when you don't even wanna look at water anymore. The past three years have been pretty rocky up and down for you, and you've gone through a lot in your life, as a writer in your personal life as well. How do you overcome those things, and what did you do to kind of recoup from all of those things to get at the top of your game, which is where you are right now? You know, it has it's 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 hard to have somebody drop off the face of the earth and really kind of hit rock bottom and be able to bounce back. And I did it a couple times. And usually, when they're written off, people just stay written off, you know. So it was a big. It taught me a lot in my life. I think it was a. It was a blessing in disguise, everything that's happened. But I think it's made me really respect the opportunity I have and made me a lot more humble. And right. you know, I, I know that this is what I want to do for a living. You know, I race motorcycles and I want to be the best. And I'd love right. to be like my dad, which is a past world champion. And right. so it means a lot to me. So what advice has your dad given you for this race? I think he just wants me to keep my head on straight. And you know, mainly just, just keep positive and don't let the little stuff get to me. And uh, right. just go out and just do what I've been training to do. You know, not, not anything different. I know that you're riding with Kawasaki's Pro Circuit team and Mitch Payton has been a huge influence to you. What has he done to help motivate you to win your third gold medal? It's crazy, you know, that guy, uh, he, you know, in our sport he's a very strict guy and he don't like too many people and it's crazy that he likes me with all the tattoos and kind of being, <laughs> I guess, somewhat of the bad boy in our sport. So, I don't know, he, he's really, just having him just be behind me and knowing that he's giving me the opportunity to ride for that team is, uh, I would say that's that's enough said, you know, that gives right. me a fire underneath me just to really want to put out and do the best that I can. You definitely have the bad boy look and you have the mullet going on, we yeah, gotta I check do. this out. I do have the mullet. Let's show this thing. I'm not I'm not scared to run the mullet. I kinda <laughs> went back into the eighties a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Tell what me I'm, more about your um, tattoos here. Tattoos, I got angels, whatever, I got my grandma, she's ninety five years old, great grandma took care of me, you know, she's still kicking to this day, which right. is amazing, you know. Awesome. My guardian angel as well. And I live in LA, that's where I was born, was, you know, and then I always wanted to be a pirate when I was a little kid. So that's some like little fantasy world I had. And, I love so, that. Yeah, that's, that's where I'm at. The Hills is a huge show, it was such a phenomenon. Yeah. So when you got drawn into The Hills, was that crazy for you? I mean, you were in the last episode, that's a pretty big deal. It was a little different for sure, you know, and, and, and especially like, you know, it's out of my, my element, you know, doing what I do, racing motorcycles. and. It was different, it was cool, it was awesome to do it, but I was glad to do it with her because she's, she's, she's a nice girl. It was a good ending, I think, for us. I'm glad I could be maybe the, somewhat the Prince Charming out of it, you know? Of course. <laughs> well, I'm gonna let you go. I know it's a really big race, and if you have any oh. shout outs to your fans, just yeah, say whatever. Yeah, thank you guys. I appreciate it very much for following me, and um, I, I hope the best, so thank you guys.